crypto pip um just wanted to do a review um some of the subscribers on the channel have been asking what's the best way to bridge your cro tokens um or to get cro tokens onto the DeFi to do some farming or to send your cro from your uh, crypto.com account to uh say your metamask wallet um what i'm going to cover today is how to get the easiest way that i found um to get the cro token um so if you send cro direct from your crypto.com using the chronos mainnet and put in your metamask wallet it doesn't arrive i don't know what happens it goes missing or something so do not do that okay this is one platform that i use um so I use Elk Finance. I've used them for a number of the blockchains for Avalanche, Binance, uh, Phantom, um, and for Kronos now. So what you do, um, obviously, make sure you're, you're, um, you get the correct web address. So I suggest going to CoinGecko, uh, looking for typing in Elk Finance. As we can see here, their market cap's really low. We'll do a review of their platform soon because there's a lot of people, I believe, that are using this. And this could be a potential hidden gem. So we'll go back to this one. But anyway, make sure you go into there. So you go over to Elk Finance. Uh, this is their platform. You launch the DAP, which we've already done. Um, you connect your wallet um, to the platform itself. So... If you just can you connect it normal way you connect as you can see we're connected you then what you then do is say we've got some some native um b and b or whatever platform you want to use you can connect a different number of networks here but for this video we're going to use uh, a binance smart chain you can use a number of other um native tokens to buy elk um, the elk token which we're going to show you but for today i'm going to show you using the uh, binance smart chain um, just a quick note as well the cross chain transfers are currently in the beta mode um, and they've got some guidelines here on um, you know some things that you have to look into and some documentation but let's go straight to the swap so what we'll do here we'll go to select a token we'll select some bnb um we've got this is a test wallet so i've got a small amount of bnb in here so let's say we're going to change over five elk um the price of elk was two two pound each so we'll do five we'll do ten pounds worth what you do then is you hit swap as you can see the figures here you confirm go to your wallet paste a small gas fee confirm the transaction okay you then close you wait for the transaction to go through as we can see at the moment the transaction itself is pending okay right so the transaction now has gone through what we'll then do is um You've got your five elk in your wallet. Um, so it's going through now. Once that five elk hits your wallet, you'll then go to Elk Connect, which is which is the way that you bridge. So as you can see here, here now, the balance of my elk is five. Um, and what you do is you hit target chain. So as you can see here, they support a number of chains. Um, so what our target chain is the Kronos network. If you select that, I suggest ticking, uh, swapping one elk for gas fees. Um, also, so just in case you need an elk for gas, you do that. And we'll go uh, max, okay. A bit of a technical error there. What we're gonna do is you're gonna transfer your elk. So if we hit, we're gonna do four, we're gonna hit our target chain um, there's a number of different chains here, but for now we'll go Kronos Network because that's the one that we're going after. And we'll tick one, leave one for gas, okay? Um, what you then do is hit approve. You confirm the transaction as you can see there's the gas there. 
you wait for that to confirm. It doesn't take too long um, for this to go through. Okay, so that's gone through. And then what we'll do, we've approved it. We then transfer. So obviously there's another small gas fee. Gas fee is very, very minimal. So it's nothing to even worry about. That's what we like. This is not Ethereum by any chance. So you don't have to get out of the calculator and watch how much you're spending on fees. Um, so we're just waiting for the transaction to go through. And then obviously once it does, um, we're good to go. As you can see, there's our transaction. It's been initiated. Um, and there we go. So this should be done now. Yeah, so as you can see, one elk has been left for gas, four has been transferred out. So now we can switch over to, yeah, our Kronos network. The um, one elk has been used for some gas. Um, another one was sitting in on the Binance Smart Chain side, that's fine. So we've managed to transfer over three elk um, tokens. And then what you do here, so you go to from your elk net where you do your transfers you then go to swap okay and what you should now you can see we're on the chronos network um and we've got three elk tokens on this network we can select cro right hit max because we want to transfer over um the free and that will give us a total of 18 elk um 18 cro you then approve the transaction to confirm there we go very minimal fees um you approve the transaction and as you just wait for that to it's pending it's going through you'll soon see that cro drop into your wallet and there you go all done um hopefully it's not too confusing for anyone i will leave the links um, below the video but this is honestly this is the easiest way and the most how can I say hands-on way I find for transferring or for getting the CRO token um, literally it's just because um, obviously now we'll go back we approve the transaction now we confirm the swap so you just confirm it as you can see um, So we'll just wait for that to go through. We had a bit of an error there. So it's going through. So yeah, so what you do is this is the easiest way um, that I found. It's a bit more hands-on, um, but at least I can see all the transactions on my wallet taking place. Um, and soon enough, we should have that CRO in our MetaMask and then we can start farming. So, um, a bit emotional today a lot of transactions going on but yeah if we hit confirm let's see what's happened it shouldn't be no issue with this transaction confirming i've done a test one earlier on and a few days ago and it went through fine um, we can add cro to metamask if you need to but we don't need to for now we'll then wait for the transaction to confirm and as you can see here um, on Explorer, swap free elk for 18 CRO. That transaction has gone through. There's the transaction details um, here. You can obviously screenshot this if you need to on your computer. Um, shows the interaction and so forth. But if we do go back to our wallet, we can see here that the transaction has worked and those 18 CRO has gone into my wallet. Now I'm able to explore, um, or you are able to explore the Kronos network and start farming or whatever you wanna do on there. Um, but this was just a information video. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, don't forget to, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, of course hit the comments up below uh, we also do have a telegram um, channel 
Um, I'm also on Twitter as well. All the links are below. And I'll leave links for these sites um, underneath the video in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this goes okay for you. It was fine for me. There was no issues. Um, and as you can see, we have the CRO in our token to ready to go and try and earn some more money, uh, some more crypto. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and take care.